I've tracked down the downtown warehouse of Magnus Walker. He owns what has to be one of the coolest Porsche collections in LA. Internet films about his modified classics have turned him into a cult star. Good day. Hey, Tiff, nice to meet you. Are you a, a bit of a Porsche 911 fan, by any chance? Yeah, I've heard that before. I do like the 911s. I have a passion for them. And, uh, yeah, I could, began as a 10-year-old back in 1977 at the London Olds Court Motor Show. Eccentric millionaire Magnus made his money customising jeans. Now he customises classics, and his fans include car-collecting royalty like Jay Leno. His pride and joy is this, the STR. What's been modified on this particular car? Well, got a whole different look at the back. The deck lid's got louvers, which is something that's not found on a 911. And Those then, arches don't look quite normal. No, I mean, this is a 72 911T, which would have been narrow body. These are actually reprofiled steel turbo flares, but the whole turbo lip is being dollied off and rounded. So it's got a nice curved shape. It's running a uh, 8 and 10 inch rim. It's got an upgraded motor. So initially, this would have had a 2.4 litre motor with 130 horsepower. What's it got now, then? It's got a short stroke 3.2 with approximately 275 horsepower. So we've doubled the horsepower. Are you sure it's a good idea? It's like an early 911 on steroids. There's more of it, there's more power, there's more throttle response. It's more sort of the feeling of a streetable race car. But the proof is, of course, in the. Um, so do you think I might try all your brilliant ideas out? I'm not quite sure what you're meaning there, Chief. Give me the keys. Give me oh, the keys. Oh, you want the keys? Yeah, yes, that's oh, it. Oh, well, here's the key to Thank happiness. You Thank you very much, Rince. The car's more than 40 years old and, with a better power-to-weight ratio than a current-day 911, being allowed behind the wheel is a rare privilege. I'm going to test it on a road I've always dreamt of driving. Once you've escaped the urban sprawl of Los Angeles, we're better to go for a bit of a feisty drive than the snake pass of Mulholland Drive through the Santa Monica Mountains. Mulholland is one of the most famous stretches of tarmac in California. Built in the 1920s, it was a favourite haunt of car lovers James Dean and Steve McQueen. Today, it's popular with car enthusiasts and bikers from all over the world. Now I can really appreciate what this 911 is all about. But it's all about a good old-fashioned 911. The great thing about resto modding is that you, you make a car for your own individual taste. And obviously, Magnus likes to sit on the floor, and he also doesn't like to put in air conditioning. No power steering, no power assistance to brakes. This is good old-fashioned heavyweight work, but the good thing about heavyweight work is it brings back all the sensations of what driving used to be. Yes, the steering's heavy, but it also means you can feel every bump and ripple of the road. Yes, the brakes are heavy, but you can modulate them so much more easily. But this snake pass just goes on and on. I think I might get a bit of third gear sometime soon. Oh, there's a big dent in the barrier there. Don't like that. Whoa! Normally, I'm not a fan of old cars. They're too fragile and unrefined. But Magnus's $80,000 resto mod is as exciting as any modern supercar and has been a brilliant introduction to the scene.